to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no. Just wanna make it. Hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I'm Julianne and as you guys can see from today's title, we are moving out of our house. Everything happened really fast so I will be talking about it on, later on in this video. First we are going to be starting out in the kitchen and I do have some cleaning I need to get done. Wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. I had no idea how to start this video. You guys that are here probably every week you're like what is going on had no idea that we were selling our house honestly it all happened so incredibly fast we decided to put our house up on the market and we had a showing that showing led to um contract and we didn't want, well, I personally didn't want to announce anything until we had the inspection done and we knew that we were good to go. We did a three week close. If you guys have ever sold a house, you know that it's kind of like a process of just getting through the inspection and having everybody sign the inspection paperwork and all of that. So we really only had like a week that we knew for sure that we were selling our house and then in that time we got sick so I just really know I didn't mention it because just everything was so incredibly crazy but now I am here and I am ready to talk to you guys about it so you guys know that we had been looking at houses back when I a little bit after I found out I was pregnant with Sophia if you're new, we do have four kids. We were living in um, a three bedroom home. Our house was um, not even 1500 square feet. So if you can imagine six people in that house, um, it was pretty tight, but we were making it work just because everything has been so incredibly crazy. Um, so we were just trying to make it work. Well, I'm not gonna go into detail, but something happened a few days before Christmas uh, one of my neighbors made a very careless and reckless mistake that could have seriously changed our life forever. Um, like I said, I'm not going to talk about it. It's still pretty traumatic. My kids are fine. I'm fine. Um, but it just changed the way that... I don't want to say the way that I felt about this house. I love this house. I am so incredibly grateful for this house. We brought two of our babies home here and we built this house like this was something that elvis and i never thought that we could do and it was one of those moments where we felt that we had really accomplished something that we built our house our dream house we only had two kids when we built this house um and it felt amazing um but when things happen you realize that a house is a house and a home is where your family's at and I know that my neighbor made a very careless and reckless mistake I can't even imagine how he feels um, like I said I'm still just traumatized from what happened like I said I don't want to go into it and I feel like I'm already starting to blubber and um, but anyway so we decided that you know, this is not our forever home. We already knew that. And we did have some equity in our house and we figured that if we were going to sell our house, we should probably do it now rather than later. And so we put it up on the market. It went way faster than what we expected. Everything happened so incredibly fast and we had to find a rental. It has just been so crazy. All right, so we're getting the kitchen packed up and I did not have a ton of time. I had a lot of packing I had to get done in a short amount of time. Like I said, we had gotten the stomach bug. Y'all know it, it puts you down for days and I really needed that time to pack, but that is okay. We got it all done. 
we're in the rental now and y'all it is a disaster right now i'm gonna get started on it tomorrow but our garage is just full of boxes this year we did sign a one-year lease and this year i'm going to go through every single box in that garage and i'm getting rid of so much stuff i do not want to take this to our new house because we are hoping to purchase a house we don't know if we want to purchase like a spec home or if we want to buy an older home and um like do some cosmetic upgrades we are going to start looking in about probably like six months we're going to start looking at the market and kind of seeing what we want to get So we did get the kitchen packed up. You guys will see um, towards like the end of this video is when I do all of the actual cleaning. I wanted to make sure I cleaned it the day before we handed the keys over. I wanted to be nice and clean and look really pretty when the lady walked in. And y'all, I absolutely love our kitchen. Like the farmhouse sink, that was the number one thing on my list. I remember like making a list of what I wanted to have in our kitchen when we went to the design center and pick out. And um, the farmhouse sink was on my list. Like I had to have the farmhouse sink and I am hoping that in my next house, I can get that too. Oh, The last month or two, I would say I had been doing some decluttering. I really didn't film a lot, but I had gotten rid of bags and bags of like donations. And I thought I had done a pretty decent job in the master um, closet, but y'all, you just never realize how much junk you have until you go to moving it. And also in the kids' bedrooms, like I thought I had done a good job and there's just so much stuff, but since we were so pressed for time to move, I wasn't able to just go through and get rid of all of the things that I want to donate. So like I said, I'm gonna be doing that while we're living here because I just really do not want to pack all that stuff right back up and take it with us. I do have to say though, the kids are so excited to be in the new house. They were so excited to have a house with stairs, which I'm not loving, but it's okay. The kids are enjoying it. They all have their own room and um, I'm not going to have Camila and Sophia in the same room. I'm going to put Sophia's crib up in the master bedroom. Um, just because Camila is such a little mommy, I could see her trying to like pick Sophia up in the middle of the night from the crib or something like that. So we're just going to keep Sophia in the bedroom with us for now, but all the kids have their own rooms, which they were really excited about. And I am excited to share the new rental with you guys. It is different than our current home or the home that we're in here not a current home anymore i guess because i am sitting in the rental doing this voiceover um but yeah like i said it's different not things that i would have necessarily picked but we really did want to get a four bedroom and y'all it is hard to get a rental in just a couple weeks i felt like we were lucky to even get this house but it does have great cabinets and um it does remind me a little bit of like the farmhouse style like the flooring and well, you guys will see it soon enough you know it's still gonna be cleaning motivation I know a lot of you guys loved my kitchen just as much as I did but I hope you guys will stick around and hang out for all the cleaning motivation that is going to be coming in the new house 
I had two of these lamps and I was going to put one in Victoria's room and one in Camila's room, but for some reason the cord had broke on that one. So I just went ahead and threw it out. Now we're gonna be packing up Owen's room. You're not gonna see me pack up the girls' room only because I was still kind of sick while I was packing their room. So I was not in the mood to be on the camera and plus y'all would have never wanted to see me looking like that and then victoria was also helping me pack up so it was kind of a, a chaotic mess which i would that's exactly how i would explain everything that has been going on it's just been so chaotic and crazy and emotional and exhausting <laughs> say that Owen's room was the easiest to pack and I think it's probably going to be the easiest to unpack. I've already done a little bit in his room and it just looks so much better than everybody else's room. I think it's because he's the only boy so he doesn't have tons and tons of toys like the girls because Camila has so many toys that she's been um, handed down from Victoria and then all of the toys that she's accumulated from like Christmas and birthdays and things like that. Just so much stuff. And I also feel like their girls just have more stuff. Like you have dolls and Barbie dolls and dress up stuff and all of that stuff that comes with being a girl. And then a little boy like Owen plays with dinosaurs and his cars and things like that. So not near as much stuff. And when I am packing, if th something's in box like that cube organizer behind me, I'm not going to take all that stuff out and like pack it into individual boxes. We're going to move the cube organizer and just put the, like the little um, cube boxes or whatever they're called. I can't even think right now, y'all. <laughs> um, but we're just going to put that in the U-Haul and just take it just like that. And that's what we would do with the dressers too. And um, like the things that I had in the toy closet, y'all, we just move all of that stuff. Like we don't take it and put it in boxes. We just take it to the house just like that. Let me know in the comments how you guys are doing. In my videos, I typically don't talk near as much as I've talked in this video. And I feel like I've just been talking so much about what's been going on with my life. I wanna know about your guys' life, what's going on. If you guys have something exciting going on, leave it down in the comments. Hoping that you got all the things that you wanted. I know time flies, you moved on, yeah, I got it. But I'm still here wondering if you've been honest. Cause baby, what we had in our hearts was the rawest. I know I shouldn't call, but I can't help but fall in.
we have Ellen's room pretty much packed up. I did leave a few clothes in the closet since we did have a few days to go. Um, but yeah, it is pretty much packed up and now we're going to get started on, um, well, I'm going to take down the gallery wall and I think that I'm going to do something totally different in his new room. This is something that I had in his nursery. Um, but after we get done here, then we're going to move into the kids bathroom, which we just, we don't have a ton that we have to do in there. I just have some stuff in the cabinet that I need to put into a box. Say you love me, say you don't, just give me something so I can move on, pull me closer, or push me away, let me know if we'll be okay. Alright, so this is the day before we hand the keys over. I wanted to get the house nice and clean. I had some dishes that I needed to throw into the dishwasher. And then we are going to be cleaning this kitchen for the very last time. Y'all, this makes me so sad. Even though I was ready for this, it was still very emotional and it is still emotional um, just because like I said we did love this house so much we felt like we accomplished so much when we built this house and brought our babies home here and our older two kids did so much growing here Owen was I think he had just turned two when we moved in here and he was so tiny and y'all now he's like a big kid he's six and it's just it's crazy y'all and I was pregnant too with Camila when we moved in here um and then our surprise baby Sophia you know so many great memories and uh you know some not so great memories also but we're so thankful for this house and the opportunities that it has given us and we can't wait to get into another house that we love just as much as we love this house. I can't wait for you forever 
course, I have to use the soft scrub with bleach on this sink. I wanted it to look perfect when we left. I'm telling y'all, this farmhouse sink was probably my favorite thing in the house. Um, and I just want it to look perfect. I did let the soft scrub sit for a little bit and now I'm taking the scrub daddy sponge and then I'm going to scrub it down and then um, put the water on really hot to get all of the residue off. So if you do have a white sink and it gets like pretty dirty, if you just let the soft scrub sit in there for a while, I'm telling y'all it's going to make it look brand new. So my mom had brought over her vacuum. You guys can see my cordless Dyson over there. I don't even know where the cord is right now to charge it. So I was using hers and she also brought me over her Bissell um, like rug shampooer. And y'all, it did such a good job. I'm like, I really need to get one of those. Just the two of us and we can stay up all night. Under street lights, doing what we want to, doing what we need to do, staying up all night. Everything is all right. Oh, I want to be with you. Oh, I want to be with you. Let me be the someone who can hold your hand. I don't even know if you can understand how you make me feel. I got you in my head. We're going to mop the floors, get it really nice and fresh in here, and then the last thing we're going to be doing is a few things in the rooms and some bathroom cleaning, and we'll be done. All that time away from you, I didn't think I'd make it without you by my side. Let me feel your love again, just the two of us and we could stay up all night, kissing under street lights. no idea what happened underneath this fridge like I don't know if that's coffee or soda or what that was but it came up pretty good so looks brand new <laughs>
cracking me up over here, but he just wanted to tell me hi. Now we're going to be wiping down the wall in the girls' room, vacuum, then we're gonna vacuum in Owen's room, go over to the master bedroom. I have a stain that I need to clean up over there. I actually had two. I had some slime on the carpet, and I should have filmed that for y'all, but I was able to get it up and it looks so good. And then I think I spilt some coffee or soda in there too. And my mom's Bissell uh, rug shampoo, it did, like I said, it did such a good job. I really want to get myself one of those. So we are coming to the end of the video. I did stop by the day that we handed the keys over. We didn't hand them over until I think like 11 o'clock. Um, so I stopped over that morning after I dropped the big kids off at school. And I just said goodbye to the house. It was very emotional. It was, it was hard to say goodbye. Like I said, we were ready for this, but it doesn't make it any easier. And I am just so thankful. And I'm so thankful for you guys that have been here watching me clean this house over and over again the last two years. And I hope that y'all will enjoy the new content. All right, guys, that is it. Excuse the way that I'm looking. It has been a long four days. It's definitely emotional to say goodbye to this house. Um, this house was very good to us. We have so many um, great memories here, and we're definitely going to miss it, but it was time to say goodbye. 
looking at you so say hello <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a like and come back next week to see the rental, and we'll start unpacking because we have a lot that we have to do over there. But thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.